leader, Lori O'Connell. So, Lori, talk to us and tell us uh, what we're standing in front of and what's going on. All right, welcome to the 2016 Clover Seeds Interactive Learning Farm. We decided this year to go big, so we used to do it the last two years on Saturdays for four hours. This year, we're open every day, all day, 10 to 7, Tuesday through Friday, and 10 to 5 on Saturday. Inside, you can bottle feed a baby calf, hold a baby chick, play in our corn table, milk our cow, play different um, educational games all about agriculture and all of the different 4-H projects that you can participate in being in Queen Anne's County 4-H. So I was here early this morning and the place was packed. So you said you've got several partners and a partner with you to talk to about the, um, the kids were reading books this morning. There was like 20 people, yes. 20 kids reading. The uh, Queen Anne's County Public Library was very generous in the fact that they have given us a librarian every day to come out every morning and read story time to our kids. We do snack and story time and it's themed every day to go along with it. Um, we also have the Judy Center partnership that has come to work for us some today too because not only is our club putting this on, but our club is also participating in all of the different shows throughout the fair. So our kids today have shown um, horses, dairy goats, dairy cows. I have some showing pigs this afternoon and doing pretty animal contests. So our parents and our kids are very busy. So we're very blessed to have help from outside to come in and um, read to our kids and help with the different programs. So talk to us a little bit about your um, Clover Seeds 4-H Club and what you do. Okay, so Clover Seeds 4-H came to be October of 2013 when we noticed a need for kids to be involved in something to start them in 4-H. You know, nowadays kids can start in dance and soccer and cheer and gymnastics, football, you name it, at three and four years old. And by the time they get old enough at five to be a 4-H Clover, they're all so busy they don't join. So we started our club and we take them as soon as they can walk and talk. And we start them out as Clover Seeds and they stay a seed until they turn five as of January 1st. And then they become actual 4-H Clovers until they're eight. And then we keep them all the way till they're 18 as a, you know, a true 4-H'er. So we have a group of 65 plus kids that come out once a month and participate in age appropriate activities. They participate in some group activities with all of our kids in one area. And then for the general part of the meeting, they're all split out by age groups. So there's 10 or 12 kids in each division. And we have parents that help run themed activities. Um, every month we focus on a different area of 4-H, an animal and a an project area. All of our kids participate in public speaking and um, are very visible around the fair this year. So if someone's interested, how do they get a hold of you? They can contact me, they can um, call my cell phone, send me a text message. It's 410-490-7811. Or um, look us up on Facebook, send us a message to our Facebook group, and you can contact us. We meet the first Monday of every month, except in September and July because of the holidays. And then we meet the second Monday at six o'clock here at the 4-H Park. We welcome everyone to come out at our September meeting. If you're interested in joining, we will have a new member meeting at our September meeting. So, um, you know, we welcome everyone to come, check out our club, check out our bylaws, and see if they're interested. Yeah. Good job, boys. So this is really one of the things that the fair was actually missing. You know, we have lots for children to do, um, lots of food to eat for regular 4-Hers, but we really didn't have anything that a family was coming with small children and actually to learn about you know, what agriculture is and what are the commodities um, that we have.